This is going to be a little exercise for you to practice trying to use the for and if loops. So what I'm going to do is let's take a look at uh, this other sheet that I have here. On this sheet I have uh, some examples of some Pythagorean triples. Pythagorean triples essentially are numbers that if you take the first number and the second number and you square these two numbers and add them together you should get the last number here if this is indeed a Pythagorean triple. So in other words, 3 squared is 9 plus 4 squared is 16 and 9 plus 16 is 25. Well, 5 squared is 25. So that means that these three numbers are Pythagorean triple. Now, I've got a button on here that'll test to see whether or not these three numbers are Pythagorean triple. And if indeed they are, it'll put a yes in this column. And if they're not, it won't do anything. So that's pretty much what this macro is going to do. So we're going to take a look at this macro and actually see how it does its job. So the very first thing, again, you'll notice is that we declare all three of our variables here for the three sides of our right triangle, um, A, B, and C. C would be the long side of the triangle, the hypotenuse of that triangle. So the next thing I needed to do is I needed to grab the three values from the sheet. So I essentially just say, you know, A is cells 1, 1, B is cells 1, 2, and C is cells 1, 3. So that's pretty straightforward. You just grab the values straight off the sheet. Now I do want you to notice in this particular example, though, that all three of these values are indeed in row 1. So keep that in mind. So the next thing you'll notice down here is an if statement. Now this if statement's a little bit uh, more complicated looking, but it's really not. So the very first thing you'll notice again is the if keyword. And then we have our test. And then we have the then keyword. The body of the if statement, of course, is right here. There's nothing too fancy about that. And then our end if. So all of these parts have to be there. You have to have the if, the then, and the end if. And of course, you need to have a test in your if statement. This is something that you're testing to see if it's true or false. If it's true, of course, we will execute the body of that if statement. Now let's take a look at this test. This test isn't that complicated, but it looks a little bit complicated because of the use of the exponential operator. So the very first thing you'll notice is we say a up arrow 2. That up arrow is a shift 6. So that's basically saying if a squared plus, in this case, b squared if those two added together are equal to c squared, pretty simple idea here, then that means that we do have a Pythagorean triple. And at that point, we want to actually put the, the value yes out on our spreadsheet. So you'll notice that we put it in the same row. Remember I said row 1 here. So we put it in the same row as uh, the numbers, but we put it over in column 4, of course. And notice again, we can assign a string to a cell simply by enclosing that string like we always have in quotes. So this actually puts that value right into that cell. So this actually will supposedly do the job for just that row of numbers. In fact, let's go check a look and see if it does. So I'll click my button and put the yes there. Simple enough. I'm going to go ahead and clear that cell just to get it off the sheet there. Let's go back and look at the code. Now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to basically use the examples that you've seen before on the for and the if loop. That one that was testing for zeros, for instance, would be a good example to use. And I want you to take this code that you see here. This code right here is testing a single row. And it's putting the answer into that same row for Pythagorean triples. So what you can do is you can put this into a for loop. And instead of having this one right here always the same, the control loop variable, which you might call row or something like that, could be put in here instead. And so when you embed this code inside the body of that for loop, it'll loop around and for every row, it will pull the values off of the sheet, do the test, and if indeed it is a Pythagorean triple, it'll put the yes into the correct place on that row for your answer. So again, you're going to need to, you know, essentially take this code and embed it into a for loop, inside of a for loop. And think about your indenting as you do this too, so that you can try to get that formatting to look good. 
So give this a shot and play around with it a little bit. I mean, if this just if this piece of code doesn't make any sense to you, again, remember, you can always use your step and step, 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 step through the program. Okay, give that a shot. And uh, remember, you're posting all your code up on your uh, works website.